but those set up the big gashes down the field later. Dalvin Cook's first toss. Out across the 15 to about he the... Knows he's taken what the defense has given him and trusts the run game and defense. Helps to give it to Dalvin Cook. And he powers his way for a first down with a flat. He'll go play action here. And send it to Dalvin Cook in the flat. Breaks a tackle. And gets out to about the 35. Two tight end package. Muff snap. Golson has to cover it up. More in that ex execution. They run the option now. And Golson gets widened and gets tackled behind the line. Here's where FSU struggled on Saturday, though, in the red zone against Miami. And the red zone struggles continue here, at least to start. Dalvin Cook finally turns into the workhorse. Not a lot there as he picks up a yard and a half. And Brock, when you have a run to balance ideal for this team and their front as well. Here's his first touch of the second half. And he picks up four and a first down. Well, he is frankly a little bit thankful that that wasn't even a bigger play. Dalvin Cook turns the corner. Inside the 40. Breaking tackles. There he goes. Dalvin Cook to the pylon. He's into the end zone for an FSU touchdown. And defensively, they hold their own. Play action for Everett Golson to start this drive. Flips a screen against that aggressive rush to Dalvin Cook, who breaks a tackle. This time, though, he's able to be bottled up. But, boy, he fought his way for five. Best field position to start a drive today for Florida State. And they run a reverse. Golson tries to get a block, and it doesn't work. Whitfield's got nowhere to go and does well to tippy-toe down the sideline and minimize possession lead in your own building against a freshman quarterback. Golson threw a triple team to the 30-yard line. And right up the middle, Cook to the 25 with eight. Leading tackler in the ACC, Keith Kelsey on the sideline, shaken up. Here's Dalvin Cook again to the edge. Popped out of bounds by Chucky Williams, but he picks up a Dalvin Cook. And this time he's brought down right at the line. Play action for Golson. Slips it out to the edge to Freddie Stevenson. He's got a step to midfield. I think you're going to see another penalty here hitting Golson. So after all is said and done, it's a 32-yard play. Dalvin Cook. Close to the and run about 45 yards of those after contact. Here he is again down to the 28 yard line. Defensively, might still have a chance. Everett Golson under some pressure, throws it up the seam, off his back foot. Trolls just about to enter the red zone. Although Dalvin Cook gets stood up. And stopped at about the 22-yard line by James Burgess. Can't see it. I'm blocked in in the pocket. I know where my guy is going to be. Throws it away here and avoids a sack. Why is Jimbo to get their offense the ball back? Play action for Everett Golson on first down. Looking downfield under pressure. Flag down in the backfield as Golson. Dalvin Cook bounces it outside. Look out. That might be a horse collar tackle. He was pulled down. Immediately drawing him backwards and ripping him to the ground. It was a first down carry, and Dalvin Cook into the secondary again. Nine more for Florida State. <laughs> Cook again, this time a tackle for loss. And now what feels like an absolute. The more this offense benefits. Cook stumbles and goes down right at the line of. And he plays like it. Here's the true freshman, Jaquez Patrick. And this time he's caught well behind the line on first and goal for Florida State. A little bootleg for Everett Golson. Flips it in the end zone for an easy touchdown to Ryan Izzo. On the same page pre-snap. Jaquez Patrick just about gets back the penalty. Well, Sean McGuire could have transferred. He's a redshirt junior. I didn't even realize that even if I do get one year next season, what Jimbo can do with this position, right, and the amount of talent that surrounds a quarterback position here.